I'm in Photoshop Elements here. It doesn't matter what version of Elements you have. Um, I'm in um, the editing um, side of things and I'm on the expert view. So make sure you've got those open. First thing I need to do is open my files that I'm going to combine. So I come over to the top left corner, click open um, and find your pictures. I've got them ready here. So I've got fireworks one, two, three, four, five. Um, I'm going to um, click on the first one, um, hold my shift key down, click on the last one, um, select all five of them. And you can see that those five pictures are coming in here now and being opened. Um, if I go to the bottom of the screen and open my photo bin, you can see those five pictures are there and they're also um, there with the tabs at the top. The other thing I've got open in Photoshop Elements is I've got my layers um, palette open. That's important, you need this. We're going to use the, the layers. Uh, you can open and close it just by clicking on the layers button. Okay, so the first picture I'm going to use is I'm going to use the picture of the, um, um, the fireworks that are going off at sort of the ground level um, here. You can see the, the fireworks going off. And typical, you're going to see this with all the photographs, typical of all the fireworks um, pictures, you've got individual fireworks going off. There's nothing happening up here because it's a very, very, very quick moment in time we're getting. And that's what we're going to go over here. So um, I'm opening this picture first. That's going to be my base picture. That's the one I'm going to use. Okay, but actually I want to bring other ones in. So I'm going to start with fireworks one. Double click on it selects it um, in my screen. It's so not quite big here because I've got my screen set up so I'm just pressing the control and minus sign button. And if I press that twice then it just shrinks those pictures down so you'll see me do that. It's just control and minus. Uh, press it a couple of times so you can see the whole picture. Okay so I've got the picture there and I want to uh, combine it with that, uh, with that base picture we've just looked at. So the first thing I need to do here is I need to select this picture. Um, you can do it in different ways. The easiest way is to use a, um, a keyboard shortcut, which is holding down your control key um, and pressing the A key. So control and A, and that gives select all. And you can see I've got a little dancing ants around my picture now to tell me that I've selected the whole of this picture. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this picture. So again, control key, hold the control key down and press C for copy and I've copied that picture. Nothing tells me I've done that, but that's what's happened. So if I double click back onto my base picture here, I now want to paste the picture I've just copied onto there. So control key, holding that down and press control V is control V for, um, for pasting. And you can see here now, although I've got my base picture or I had my base picture selected, I've now got picture one, fireworks one, pasted on top of that. So it's like taking a print and putting the print exactly on top of the first one. I've got two pictures stacked together here. And if you look at my layers palette here, you can see I've got two pictures or two layers. I've got layer one and I've got background layer. The background layer is my original picture that's now hidden by the, the picture we've just put on top. Now the nice thing you can do in layers is you can use something called a blending mode. Um, go into more detail of blending mode on another video, but just a quick tip here just for your fireworks is um, if you click on the um, the blending mode at the top here, at the moment it says normal, if I come down and click lighten, you can see straight away on my picture that suddenly we can see through that top picture to the picture below here. And what happens here is that all the dark parts of the picture suddenly become um, opaque um, or transparent even, sorry, transparent, so we can see straight the way through. So I've got, I've got two pictures here, and what I can do, just show you that, is if I come over to the left and choose my move tool, I can move, as long as I've got layer one selected here and it's in blue, I can move that top layer, I can move it around my picture, um, which is quite a nice thing to do, and I can, I can paste or drop this, these fireworks exactly where I want them. So I'm going to drop them there, okay? And the last thing to do, you might have noticed there's some lights at the bottom here that now are, um, are being duplicated. Can you see those, how they're moving around? I just want to get rid of those. So um, because they're the bright parts of that, that second picture that's come through, if I click on my eraser tool on the left hand side, and as long as I've got layer one selected in my layer um, toolbox, if I just go through there, can you see how those, those lights are disappearing? I'm erasing them off. I'm leaving everything from that bottom base picture, but I'm just erasing those lights away from the second picture, the layer one that I've bought in. I don't want to confuse things by having lots and lots of, of copies of those lights. Okay, so that's my first picture um, in. I'm going to go back to the photo bin and I'm going to double click now on um, Fireworks 2, my next picture, and I'm going to do exactly the same again. So I'm going to go Control and A to choose all. I'm going to go Control and Copy, Control and C, sorry, to copy. And I'm going to come back to my base picture and I'm going to go Control V to paste. And again, I've just got the, the, that copied picture on there 
um, my layer 2 as long as I've got that selected go to my um, blending mode and go lighten and you can see now that that picture's now come in as being um, uh, transposed over my picture so again I'm going to put that I'm trying to split these up and fill my picture with fireworks so I'm going to drop that there I'm going to use my eraser tool just going to go and erase the bottom of that again just get rid of those likes on there but everything else in there and there we go so go back to my photo bin and now I can choose photo 3 or fireworks 3 double click control A control C that's con that's selected all and copied go back to my uh, my combination now and control V to paste and then layer 3 I need to click lighten there it is it's come out here so what I can start to do is compose my picture quite carefully here I'll be careful I don't want too much sim um, symmetry on this picture okay so I've got to be careful so I'm gonna put that picture up there and again you can see now can you see how some of the lights have come they're too high now in the picture so again choose my eraser and then just carefully go over there and just get rid of those lights let's not confuse our picture too much keep it looking um, realistic so go to my photo bin again I've got one more picture to bring in which is fireworks 5 um, I'm just going to do what I did first time control and minus key just to uh, shrink it down and then control A select all control C to copy it go back to my composite now and control V to paste it and finally you can see all my five layers here choose the blending mode is lighten and you can see how that pictures come on here now what we need to do is just compose this quite carefully now I'm going to pop this one right in the middle there just to balance everything off and the final thing I'm going to do take my eraser tool bring it across on that layer and get rid of those lights just a uh, note here make sure you you choose the right layer when you are um, erasing if you happen to choose a different layer uh, you'll find that strange things can happen so uh, uh, be aware of that make sure you're working on the layer you've got there so the layer 4 and you run that eraser tool across there okay so there's our picture simple as that the last thing we need to do is just file save as remember we're saving it as a new picture so save as um, we need to choose JPEG I've got some on here that I've been playing with so let's call this new picture um, fireworks composite uh, I've chosen JPEG we're going to put it in the same folder so save it's going to ask me how I want my JPEG options make sure here that you've got quality of at least eight it'll say hi here that's important to make sure you've got the quality of the picture click OK and we should have our picture saved so let's just go and have a look so I think that's on my desktop there we go and we may have fireworks composite there we have our composite of our uh, of our fireworks